Coach, we can start with you, just some remarks on tonight's game. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it was a great way for us to start the game. I think it um, helped a lot that we were able to turn them over and hit some early shots. Uh, we knew that was going to be an important way to start the, uh, both halves. Um, I don't, don't think we did as good of a job to open the second half, um, just knocking down some shots that we uh, created for ourselves. But, you know, Boise's just gone through and persevered through a lot all season, and um, it's just so impressive to see how invested their team is um, through all the, the injuries that they've gone through and, uh, you know, just wanted to uh, wish them the best of luck as they uh, get their team healed up in the offseason. Okay, thank you, Coach. Now we'll take questions from the student-athletes. Yeah, you know, um, Rosie, 29 turnovers you guys forced on, on Boise State. What does it mean to get, you know, uh, on an opening win like this in the tournament, you know, heading forward? You know, obviously it's a good confidence, confidence booster for our team. Our main objective today was to start out hard, be aggressive with our press, and I think them getting 29 turnovers is a um, result of our tough press. You know, you know and Kiki you, um, had another high scoring game um, today. You know, what were they really um, giving you? What, what kind of, you know, looks were they giving you where you really seemed to capitalize, I guess? I mean, we kind of just take what the offense gives. I mean, what the defense gives us. Um, a lot of our teammates, my teammates, was driving and kicking. So them driving and kicking opened me up a lot tonight. And, you know, the defense, talking about the defense, you know, 29 turnovers, it seems like they really gave you, gave you guys a lot. Um, you know, can you talk more about what really led to that? you know, 31 point lead, I guess, you know, um, in the first half. I would just say our pressure and our pace, we wanted to play pretty fast tonight to get them up and down with us. And I think they got tired pretty fast. So by us playing and pressuring them a lot, I think it resulted in a lot of turnovers. And you know, Rosie, um, this was a game where a lot of reserves got some playing time. You know, what, what do you really, what did you really see from, you know, Robin and, and Jacinta today? You know, obviously Robin comes in all the time and plays her role really well. She comes down and knocks in a lot of shots, so that was good. And Jacinta was crashing the boards hard tonight, which is very big positive for us. You know, and you guys have um, Wyoming, either Wyoming or Colorado State up next. Uh, what, what are you guys really going to focus on heading up into tomorrow's game? You know, the main focus will be on ourselves again, but doing the little <coughs> things like rebounding, boxing out, and being aggressive on defense will lead to good offense. I may have uh, Kiki and Rosie answer this. Let me start with Rosie. Just could you have ma imagine have gotten off, getting off to a better start than you guys did today? You know, obviously we got to a really good start. We thought we'd start off well because we were very aggressive, but to the lead that we got at the very beginning, that was really good. Um, I think our team was just really prepared for this game. We came in with kind of a chip on our shoulder, knowing what we had to do, and I believe we got it done. How did you stay focused at halftime with such a big lead and still kind of keep the intensity and not let them get back in it? I mean, just coming in every half, you have to just know that the team's never going to give up. So we just knew that they were going to come back and fight back and they fought to the end. But I think we just kept our intensity and our focus as well. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's the same, you know, obviously you've got to focus, everyone playing this tournament, if you lose, you're out, so, you know, everyone's going to get after it, so we had to make sure we kept our intensity high, kept crashing the boards and pushing out an offense. Can the two of you talk about the, the ball movement and just, you know, the crisp passing and, you know, knowing each other so well and, and the assist, it seems like, you know, if anyone made a backdoor cut, you found that person, just talk about the passing and sharing the ball. Yeah, I think our offense flowed really well tonight. Obviously, we've got great attackers on our team, so when the defense tries to stop them, we've got the easy kicks out, and then when they're pressuring hard on the outside, the attackers can get to the basket, so it worked really well tonight. I think we're just at our best when like, we rotate the ball and everyone gets a touch and play inside out, so everything opens up, attacks, drives, and then also just our three-point shooting. Coach, the 26-point lead in the first half got down to 14 in the second. Were you a little concerned about game slippage there and, and how you deal with that in the future? Well, a little bit. Um, we had a pretty good idea of how they were going to get back into the game um, at that point. And we, I, I just felt like where our offense was aggressive, 
um, we needed to manage the clock a little bit better. We were sh able to find and get quick shots, but not much time was coming off the clock, which gave them even more possessions in that second half. So, um, you know, as you saw, probably the last uh, four and a half minutes, we slowed things down a little bit. We're a little bit more deliberate, um, and I think that helped us really just try and get to their fatigue a little bit. Um, but. You know, concern, you're always concerned as a coach. I mean, I always think even with a 26 point lead, we're only them hitting two threes away from this being a, you know, a game. Uh, but we've got great leaders, great defenders on the floor that are pretty self-motivated. Was that as good as you can play defense the first 10 minutes? Their coach said that's really all they worked on and they were very disappointed that they couldn't handle it. Um, I've seen us uh, play consistent defense like that. I've also seen us not play great defense. Um, it's really, again, I think what these young women commit themselves to and uh, they we've got a lot of different defensive schemes um, different uh, attacks and it doesn't matter what we do it's about them executing and uh, you know they, they do a great job with it and we're going to need to play consistently great defense in this next game are there any questions for the students yes okay good uh, just if I could start with Kika I know you guys didn't show it but just wondering were there any butterflies to start the tournament Oh, me. I mean, I feel like it's just excitement just to come out here, just play the same teams we've played already, and just to know that if you lose, it's like go home. So I just feel like it's an excitement to just play everyone, have everyone in the same place at the same time. Yeah, there are a little bit of butterflies, you know. Going into your, into your tournament, you have to win to get through. But I think we were very confident. We finished off the conference really well, so I think there was more confidence going into it. Okay, we're going to dismiss the student athletes at this time. Now we'll take questions for the coach. Thank you, ladies. Uh, coach, just wondering, uh, Kiki talked about kind of having a chip on her shoulder. Were you guys happy with the statement you made? I don't know if you were trying to make a statement, but I know you're the second seed, but maybe that you guys might be the team to beat? I, I don't think we talked, we didn't talk about a statement. We just talked about winning, <laughs> survive in advance. Um, and, uh, you know, we had a healthier amount of respect for Boise State. I definitely have a lot of respect for Gordy. He's one of those coaches that I've competed against, coached against for a long time, from back to our WAC days. And um, as a young coach, I always felt like whenever I played against his teams and I really looked at film and evaluated the decisions I made, I was going to get better as a coach. He's a very, very good coach. So um, our focus was really about how do we get past Boise State first, not trying to send a message to anybody else. Any other questions? Go ahead. How do you guys get better for the next game? Rest. <laughs> I think that's the, the number one thing. You don't change anything. My philosophy, you don't change anything at this time of year. They're playing instinctually. They've worked really hard to learn the system and um, incredibly hard at doing that. So it, it's really about recovery and rest and making sure they're prepared for tomorrow.